Over the past few days here in Hollywood, 1,500 games developers, app makers, venture capitalists, and studio execs have gathered at Oculus Connect, the developer conference for Facebook's virtual reality headset. Everyone here is looking for the killer app that is going to sell millions of VR headsets when they emerge for consumers to buy early next year. Two big announcements that Oculus made here should help Facebook to take VR into the mainstream. One was the arrival of Minecraft, the virtual world building game on the Rift next year. And the second was the $99 price point for Samsung's Gear VR headset, which uses a Galaxy smartphone as a screen. But the unofficial star of the show were these, the Oculus Touch controllers, which bring not just your head, but your hands into virtual reality for the first time. From the demos that I've played here at the conference, it's like there's there's better working technology for hand tracking through the through the touch controls, and that for me, of all the demos that I've had, the touch control gameplay has been the most meaningful. Because once you're not just sitting inside the space, but you're actually being able to like sort of manipulate it and have agency over it, it's extremely powerful. It's a paradigm shifting experience. Many attendees I spoke to were wowed by Bullet Train, a Matrix style shooting game that allows you to pull bullets out of the air using the touch controllers and throw them back at your enemies. Something you could never do in a regular video game that uses a standard joystick. I was playing the demo called Bullet Train and uh, it was uh, really uh, something I, I never experienced before. I was really surprised with the, how innovative it was and the way they actually used the, the touch really well. And they use like really interesting mechanics and things that I never saw before. Things like grabbing a bullet and throwing against like the enemies. That was pretty cool. And also that you feel like you're inside the matrix. It's kind of like the slow motion things and grabbing weapons and stopping kind of the time and grabbing the bullets and throwing against them. I felt like new. I, I felt like I was the chosen one. I was just great. <laughs> That's how I felt. I felt totally inside the world and believed it. I was there. But not everyone thinks that an all-action shooter is the best way to give a virtual reality experience, especially for people that are not regular video games players. Us Too, the London-based studio behind hit iPhone game Monument Valley, was at Oculus Connect showing off its first VR title, Land's End, a gentle, dreamy adventure set in a surreal but beautiful landscape. Uh, we wanted to make a VR experience that was comfortable for everybody, that uh, that wouldn't make people feel nauseous and would allow people to stay in these virtual worlds for a long amount of time. We really think that VR is an entirely new medium. You know, it's not like traditional video games and it's not like movies. This is something entirely new and the rules haven't been written yet. So, you know, this is the time to be getting into VR because we can be pioneers. We can be at the forefront of you know, experimenting and researching and, and showing people really how it's done. And uh, with Land's End, I, I think we've, we've done that in, in a small way. And there's all sorts of unanswered questions is the coolest part about it, because nobody really knows what they're talking about here. Like anybody that, you know, anybody on stage, like, or like in a conversation, all we're doing is speculating. Is this going to be a technology that actually improves people's lives, connects people with each other, augments people's lives, or is it going to be something that isolates people? And I've seen both of those things here at this conference. One scares me a little bit, and one inspires me. Before I tried Oculus, I was like totally like fine playing games in normal monitors. I grew up playing games and Mega Drive stuff like that. But now after Oculus, um, everything I imagine is always in virtual reality. Every game I see or every movie I watch, I I kind of always imagine this. This would be better in VR. We won't know for several months whether the Oculus Rift is a hit. It goes on sale to consumers in the first quarter of 2016. But there is certainly a lot of confidence and enthusiasm here that, unlike the 1990s, VR really will catch on this time. This is Tim Bradshaw, Financial Times in Los Angeles.